Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that little red button down there. Because when I get to 1,000 in like, well, it, it all depends on you how fast I get there, right? When I get to 1,000, I'm doing a giveaway on my channel. And in order to enter, you have to be subscribed. So go ahead and hit that button now. Today I am in way, way over my head because I am going to attempt to make this amazing, beautiful, vegan cranberry time ball by Sam from It Doesn't Taste Like Chicken. I consider myself a below average home cook and I'm not just being another self-deprecating vegan, I'm just being honest. So this might get messy. Um, I'm sure it's gonna be fine. I'm not gonna cry. Yikes. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. This is the kind of shit that gives vegans a bad name. I can eyeball it, whatever. Uh, so, it's a freaking disaster. This is all my fault. Do you think I'm gonna learn my lesson? I think next time I'm gonna use the proper measurements and the proper kitchen tools and the proper ingredients to get my recipe right? Now that it's all said and done, I just feel like this was a terrible idea. <laughs> this is such a fail. One, two, three. I'm gonna need all the luck I can get, so I'm wearing my favorite t-shirt. It's literally the most comfortable thing I've ever worn in my life. I mean, it's probably even more comfortable than my mother's womb. I mean, who knows? Sorry, that was so random. I have no idea. Like, the things that are going on in here, just, I, uh, I also have a green smoothie because apparently they can give you superpowers. Yeah, I put enough kale in here. Mm. Okay, that's actually really good. I also have my trusty little analog boombox radio that I got for Christmas because if you're new to my channel, I am a 30 year old who has never owned a smartphone by choice. Go back and watch my get to know me one and two series to find out why. Yeah, we're just gonna party like it's 1999 in here. Anyway, let's get started. Looking down at the ingredients makes me really skeptical that this is gonna turn out the way that it looks and the way that I want it to, but I mean, skepticism is like a normal state of mind for me, so I'm comfortable. Let's do this. If this works out, it's gonna be a miracle. So even though this recipe or this, the finished product looks kind of fancy and gourmet and complicated, apparently all you really have to do is blend everything together and form it into a ball and hope it works out. So I think that I'm capable. I think that I'm competent enough to handle this. So let's see, we'll find out. The first thing I'm gonna do is add one cup of cashews that I soaked overnight to the blender with some yeast and lemon juice, miso, garlic. So I'm gonna blend all this up and hope for the best. like twice as much nutritional yeast, but I'm sure it's fine. Oh, lovely. I have about one teaspoon of coconut oil left because that's just how my life is, right? Uh, and I actually need two tablespoons. So um, I'm sure it's gonna be fine. We've got too much dry stuff going in and not enough wet. So let's just see what happens when life gives you lemons. No. This is like a metaphor for my life, the way this is going so far. One clove of garlic goes in. Don't throw your garlic skin away, guys. You can compost it. And anybody can have a backyard compost. Just throw all your fresh fruit and vegetable scraps in there. Throw your coffee grounds in there. Throw your paper towels and uh, like cardboard or like paper bags in there. You got this. Just don't put anything, no animal products in there. And that's not just because I'm vegan. You just Nobody puts animal products in compost. You're just really not supposed to do that. It attracts the wrong kind of critters. I got this cute little countertop, just like stainless thing from Goodwill. And I just put, I leave it on my kitchen counter. And when it's full, I just dump it in the compost in the backyard. Like easy peasy piece of cake. Keep this stuff out of the landfill. Anyway, garlic goes in the blender. Okay, so this recipe calls for white miso. And all I could find was brown rice miso because Seriously, the vegan community on the east coast of Florida is lacking. It looks super bomb in Orlando, but it's like if I'm gonna be in Florida, I might as well live by the beach, you know? 
Anyway, brown rice miso, it's going down. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. <laughs> if I say I'm sure it's gonna be fine one more time, that's probably not gonna be fine, right? Oh. I'm not gonna cry if this recipe doesn't work out, but I'm gonna be really disappointed because it's a freaking cheese ball and I want that in my belly, like now. Oh my God. It's the green smoothie, I did it. Normally I'm like, tea, I need a strong man. I'm just used to being a little pampered, but now I know I can do things myself. Put two teaspoons of miso in the blender because that's what we're all here for, right? Oh, I don't know, this is totally not white miso. Oh my God, my cheese ball's gonna be like brown. Look at the color of this miso. Ah, sorry Sam, I don't know if I'm doing your cheese ball justice, but yikes. Hopefully she only wanted white miso, not necessarily for flavor, but more just because, you know, you don't want to have like a gnarly brown and black looking cheese ball. I'm cool with that though. Let me look at the ingredients. Soybeans, rice koji, sea salt, sun-dried sea salt, because that's like a thing apparently. What? I don't care. Blue Ridge Mountain well water. This is the kind of shit that gives vegans a bad name. It's like... People look at this in the store and they read the ingredients and they're like, handmade rice koji, sun-dried sea salt, Blue Ridge Mountain well water. And they're just like, this is some crazy like hippie shit and I'm not gonna be normal if I'm vegan. So we're gonna put some sage and some thyme in there and it's gonna be beautiful. And I also need two tablespoons of lemon juice. Mmm. I was that kid in the restaurant who would like ask for a bowl of lemons and just peel them and like eat them whole at the table, which I can't even, ugh. And everyone's like, what the hell is that kid's problem, right? Anyway, am I gonna measure two tablespoons of lemon juice out? No, you probably should if you're gonna make this recipe because maybe that's why I always, <laughs> that's probably why my recipes fail because I'm just like, ain't nobody got time to measure that. I can eyeball it, whatever. My friend Amy got me this thing and it's literally life changing. Get yourself a lemon squeezer. It's. I have no idea. That looked like a ton of lemon juice, but <laughs> I'm gonna put more in because I'm guessing my eyeballs are telling me that that was only about one and a half tablespoons. So let's do this. More. I have no idea. We're gonna call that good. What's next? What's next? What's next? I already added some salt. All right, I'm gonna blend this up. I feel like I need music on, but they're gonna copyright my video, right? And that's no fun. Do you know, it's just like, mm. like I feel like my full personality can't come through if I can't like jam to my jams. You know what I'm saying? Just mm. get it together, YouTube. Instagram lets us use copyrighted music, YouTube. I think if Instagram can do it, you can too. I am going to speed this up a bit because my kids wanna to go to the park today and I've gotta let this cheese ball sit in the fridge for a little while after it's all blended up and made into a nice little ball. So let's do this. I'm gonna jam out, blend this up, form it up, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Mm. real food processor like what kind of person doesn't have a food processor or I just need like a shorter like a more squat blender because when you're blending like this much doesn't do anything at all <laughs> Kids. so that was super tedious I recommend you definitely use a food processor or at least like the shorter Vitamix where it's just easier so now I'm just going to pull some sage I mean, why do I keep saying sage? Some thyme, I got some fresh thyme. I'm gonna pull about a tablespoon off and add that to the mixture. I peeled all the thyme off and do you think I'm gonna measure it? No. So is this a tablespoon? I don't know, you guys tell me. It looks like it, right? One tablespoon for me is like a little palmful. So we got this, let's, it's going in. That was a complete disaster in that blender. I probably won't do this again. <laughs> So it better taste good for all this trouble. So now I'm supposed to line a bowl with plastic wrap. 
This plastic wrap is literally like five years old. What do people use plastic wrap for? I knew that was gonna be smooth. Who? <laughs> what do you even put the razor thing on there for? Like it messes up every time. Hopefully that's not gonna be a problem. Oh. <laughs> you can tell I don't ever do this. Okay, that's probably fine. It's a freaking disaster. So I'm gonna scoop all that stinky brown mess this is all my fault, into this and just hope for the best. This isn't something new where I like don't follow directions. This is like a lifelong thing. Like I don't need to measure that. She told me to measure it, but I'm not gonna do it. She told me that I needed white miso, but brown is fine, right? It's totally gonna work. She's just being nitpicky. No, I think she was right. I mean, I think I should have listened. <sighs> this is what it looks like now. I mean, would you want to eat that? Because <laughs> so far, I'm not convinced that I need to eat this. I don't know. Do you think I'm going to learn my lesson? I think next time I'm going to use the proper measurements and the proper kitchen tools and the proper ingredients to get my recipe right? <laughs> Probably not, and that's why. <laughs> I'm just going to remain a below average home cook. I'm actually getting, literally getting grossed out right now. It looks like a mix between like cat food and something else that I won't mention because this is a cooking video. <sighs> Honestly, I don't know why I thought this time would be any different. Like, we're just gonna pretend like this is gonna be the most amazing thing. This is like the final step before I have to let it set in the fridge. So you're supposed to gather it into a ball like so, and just like twist it. Oh my goodness, I don't know. I can't imagine this is gonna firm up, so we'll see. I don't know, that's gonna have to do for now. So I'm just gonna let this sit in the fridge for a couple of hours, and, oh God, I don't know. This might, I'm just gonna have to like title this as a, like a fail video, I'm not sure. This is done. This is done, and I'll show you what it looks like in two hours. All right, it's been two hours. We just got back from the park, so let's see if this thing is firmed up at all. I don't know. I think it's a little bit more firm. The last thing I am supposed to do is press cranberries to the side. I just got these organic cranberries. I don't know. Now that it's all said and done, I just feel like this was a terrible idea, so let's just see what happens. Oh, it's sticky. I don't know. I think it's like a little bit firmer, but it still basically looks like crap. So that's what the cranberries are for to make it look more appetizing, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna transfer it to a plate. Oh, I don't know about this. I mean, it smells kind of good, but it just looks so gross that I can't. <laughs> this is such a fail. And it's a bummer because I still had like hopes and expectations and <laughs> this is like such a disaster. And I'm like scared to put too many cranberries on there because I feel like it's not going to taste good with this pile of crap. I, this is ridiculous. What the hell is this? Honestly. What the? I, I'm sorry. This has been an just... <coughs> Literally like possibly the least appetizing cheese ball I've ever seen. Let me taste it. I'm just going for some super basic vegan crackers. Nothing special about them, but they taste good. Ugh. See, mm, who needs a man? Final taste test. I just, I don't even want to try it honestly. Oh God. Why do I get myself into these things, right? I think it would look a lot better if I had used white miso, obviously. Note to self, follow the instructions, directions properly. 
All right, let's just do this. I'm just stalling right now because I'm scared. What have I done? I'm scared of what I've done. All right, let's just, I mean, screw it. I have to do it, right? I don't know. Oh my God. Blech. One, two, three. Mmm. That's actually kind of good. Honestly. You want to try some? Okay. Okay, that's actually kind of good. I'm like shocked right now. Like beyond shocked that this could be okay. Because I thought I was gonna... Let me let me just try it again. Oh. Mm. Okay. It's kind of good. Like I'm not mad. I'm gonna eat this. Okay. So. Mmm. That's good. I'm not kidding. I'm really eating this thing right now. Here, let's see if Ren likes it. What do you think, Nanas? You like it? Ren, you want another one? You do? See guys, I'm not just saying it for the video. Even the baby said, that's good, I want another one. Oh my God, it's a win, I can't believe it. I'm literally shocked. Here's what I think. If you only have brown miso, you can totally make this recipe. But I think it would be a lot more appetizing and like aesthetically pleasing, obviously, if you use white miso. And even though it looks terrible, it's actually freaking good. So, oh, that just goes to show bucking the rules wins. So you don't always have to follow the rules and you can do things your own way and sometimes it works out. So, mmm, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> Whatevs. Try this recipe. Everything that Sam does over on her blog is so good. So, I'm gonna leave the link down below for the original recipe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that little red button down there, because when I get to 1,000 in like, well, it, it all depends on you how fast I get there, right? When I get to 1,000, I'm doing a giveaway on my channel. And in order to enter, you have to be subscribed. So go ahead and hit that button now. You know what? Follow me on Instagram and tag me in your pictures of this because I want to see if it's just me or if everyone else has turned out looking this ridiculous. So anyway, I'm going to finish this up and probably go for a bike ride. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.